Now, if you have a 2D logo and you want to edit that exact 2D logo or make a different version of it, you can just click on here and load it up. Uh, for this example, I have this Shiba Inu logo that I created with Logo Diffusion, uh, but I want to use it uh, to create a different version of it. Let's say I want to do a kitten. So what I can do is I can select uh, edge detection. Let's say I want to do shape blocks. I don't want to use the colors and let's leave image influence at four and let's try something like cute kitten. Let's give it one bolt and then let's add a minimalist style because this logo is already minimalist and so we're going to keep it on the same style and then let's hit generate. And as you can see, we got some results here, uh, kind of resemble the input logo. Uh, got different. Sometimes you're gonna get some, you know, weird results like this, but you can always play generate again to get different generations. Another example I have for editing 2D logos is doing uh, this logo of a cowboy. And for this one, I'm gonna set image influence at three. I want to use the image colors, and I'll put creative freedom at five, so it becomes a little bit different from the input image. And then for the shape detection, for the edge detection, I'm going to go with shape blocks. And for the prompt, I'm going to do something like construction worker head wearing a uh, hard. I want to give this part an importance of two and this part an importance of one with one bolt. Let's keep it at 2D and let's hit generate. And as you can see, we got a result that took influence from the input logo and it gave us a different result while following the same style and aesthetic. Uh, when you do uh, these redesigns, you might get some weird results like this, but this is always a, an issue with AI generated images. Logo Diffusion is only going to get better the more people use it. So the more you use it and the more you rate your designs as good or bad, the better the results overall are going to get.